misled the American people over and over and over again while under federal investigation. In the absence of the truth, bullcrap prevails. So here come the truth, jokers. Look at what's been going on. All the people are coming out, the dang walking dead. You know, the people who don't pay attention to politics until the election cycle comes around. And they get so emotional. They, they get all into it and, you know, they pick their sides and they fight against each other. But in reality... They ain't getting nowhere with it. Yeah. So you're falling for the little racist angle. You're fighting each other. You're ripping up the signs. And, oh yeah, let me go to this. This, this is something here. How is it that this little fake joker right here comes out and endorses Donald Trump? Now, elections are all about perception. So when you see this guy endorsing Donald Trump, you will say, oh, well, Donald Trump is a racist because he's endorsing Donald Trump. But here's the thing. What is KKK? Well, the KKK was created by the Democrats. The KKK still belongs to the Democrats. So this guy right here knows that if he comes out and throws his support behind Donald Trump, it's going to get the reaction of this. That's the only reason why he's coming out and doing that. Lyndon B. Johnson did the same thing in a 1964 election. He made an ad saying that Barry Goldwater was endorsed by the KKK. But how is he going to say that when the KKK is a democratic entity? They are the prop. And I'm talking about the KKK. The Democrats are the most racist party in history. The only party in American history to kill black people because they wanted them to vote Democrat. Lyndon B. Johnson said, I'll have those N words voting Democrat for the next 200 years. When he was talking about N-words, he was talking about black people. And black people, they still vote Democrat. The KKK endorses Hillary Clinton. We have given her $20,000 anonymously for her campaign fund. She is friends with the Klan. You know, a lot of people don't realize that. What, all this stuff she's saying now? She's saying, so she can get into office, okay? She doesn't care about the illegal immigrants. She doesn't. She's acting like she does so she can get into office. And once she's into the office, then she'll put, she'll implement her policies. She's Democrat, the Klan, has always been a democratic organization.
could care less about Donald Trump. He, he's a millionaire. He's a businessman. He's not a politician. He couldn't run this country more than he can run a county. For the KKK, Hillary Clinton is our choice. Is it, did somebody make it up in the media? Where no. did it come from? Okay, Donald Trump said that there are illegal aliens that commit a greater number of crimes than American citizens. It's true. Yes. And yes. one out of every five yes. illegal aliens that crosses the border and is picked up by ICE has a record. How do you feel about the recent endorsement from David Duke? I didn't even know he endorsed me. David Duke endorsed me? Okay. All right. I disavow. Okay. Today, our country has lost a true American original, my friend and mentor, Robert C. Byrd. Senator Byrd was a man of surpassing eloquence and nobility. There are white I've seen a lot of white in my time. I admired his tireless advocacy for his West Virginia constituents, his fierce defense of the Constitution and the traditions of the Senate, and his passion for a government that improves the lives of the people it serves. There are white I've seen a lot of white in my time. They mentioned that he once had a fleeting association with a Ku Klux Klan. What does that mean? I'll tell you what it means. He was a country boy from the hills and hollows of West Virginia. He was trying to get elected. As Secretary of State, I continue to rely on his advice and counsel. Robert C. Byrd led by the power of his example, and he made all of us who had the honor of serving as his colleagues better public servants and better citizens. Robert C. Byrd left such a legacy. Time for the United States to start thinking of Iraq as a business opportunity. Uh, in July, New Hampshire, you told the crowd you, quote, take a backseat to no one when it comes to progressive values. I take a backseat to no one when you look at my record and standing up and fighting for progressive values. Last month in Ohio, you said you plead guilty to, quote, being kind of moderate and center. Do you change your political identity based on who you're talking to? No, I think that uh, like most people that I know, I have a range of views, but they are rooted in my values and my experience. You know, I get accused of being kind of moderate and center. I plead guilty. Just for the record, are you a progressive or are you a moderate? I'm a progressive. Okay. And it's, and it's an important voice, and it it's, needs to be out there, but, but what we have to do is recognize that we have to work with what we have, not necessarily with what we ideally would want. And we, the people, are largely responsible. We have to be willing to stand up for what we believe, yeah. the people of the United States, okay. because and the votes. politicians and will votes. respond to that. This is true, so right. folks, get out and vote for who you think is going to run, yeah. the, run the country, whoever it is. Thank you for coming back, Dr. Ben Carson. We will be right back. But I've woken up, I've seen the truth, and the truth is Trump, I believe in this guy to make our country better because our country is going to hell. We need Donald Trump. Obama has failed. As a black minister, I'll just tell you this, we're right in the inner city, and I'll tell you, we need jobs, we need uh, uh, employment, we need businesses, and I'll tell you, who better can help us help ourselves than Donald Trump? Donald Trump will do a great job for African Americans. I'll bring back jobs to this country from China and many other places, and I'll let people work and make a great living. I will be great for African Americans.
Americans. He's saying stuff that needs to be said. When it comes to the general election, I think a significant number of African Americans will support Trump because of the entertainment fact that he has, that he, you know, persona, he's a businessman. Still waiting on this hope and change. I get callers who call up and say, I am black, I'm female, and I'm going from Dem I'm going from Democrat to Trump. They didn't say they're going from Democrat to Republican. They're going from Democrat to Trump. I think that's part of the phenomenon. We've had the Obamas, we've had the Clintons, we've had the Bushes. Let's try something different. And then, for lack of a better word, keeps trumping them. So it is what it is. I'm voting for Donald Trump. I hope he wins president, the uh, presidency in 2016. We need somebody who ain't afraid to stand up for America. Donald Trump is a man that I feel would not be afraid to stand up for America. Vote Donald Trump. You got my vote. No, I'm what? angry because we are we have been being lied to. Who? By whom? By the current group of politicians. Okay. They have been. Right, they have been. Hey, so, so the truth. We are behind this man. And our support for him is unconditional. We, is, we support him because we believe he is the only man who advanced the cause of freedom. He is the only man who has been successful. He knows how to generate success. And all these other politicians, they're trying to be politically correct. Forget being poli politically correct. Nobody wants somebody to be nice. We're tired of losing in this country. Like, he's right, like, we want this country to be great again. They're destroying the Constitution, they're tearing this country down. We need somebody that's going to be strong, stand as a man, and help us recognize and put the Constitution and illustrate the Constitution what it was written for. And Donald Trump is the person. He's going to make America great again, regardless of the color of your skin. Regardless of the color of your skin. Now Trump has come and black people don't see Trump as a white man. No, they're not looking at color. They don't see him as a Democrat. They don't see him as a Republican. They see him as a man. Right. It, I guarantee you the American people will get you elected because nothing would please me better than getting Barack Obama locked up. Lock Valerie Jarrett up too. That half I got to get locked up. Hillary too. Half of you getting locked up. Get on over there. Can I get an amen? And I, I personally believe that this is a movement. It's a movement. And I believe that we're in a situation now where this country called America is going to come back and be made great again. Isn't that right? Trump is speaking the truth, and that's why I'm here. Go Trump school. I need every last one of y'all. Every last one of y'all to go out in the town and, and, and do this for Donald Trump. Every last one of y'all. If y'all want America great, every last one of y'all need to go out there and fight for Donald Trump. I've seen the establishment run this country for many years and it led to a trillions, trillions in deficit. Let's give it to this successful man and see what he does. Let's give him a chance. You can make that difference, and you can be that difference. And I believe in you, as I believe in myself. And I believe us, and us as together, we all together can make a change. Have a good day.